this anyway. This is our uh, little game show. It's called Public Opinion Trivia. Woo! Episode two. Back, baby. How's everyone feeling? It's been a really great week. We made a YouTube video. We made a second YouTube video. And... We we're crushing the short form game. We've done a lot of client work this week as well. Shot in the Hamptons. We shot with Kevin Hart. God damn it, is my cutout the same size as me? We shot some art gallery stuff. Yep. Big on the agenda this week. We made a trivia show. New York City trivia. You could win 100 bucks. You guys want to play trivia? New York City trivia? Last time we tried this, no one got to the $100 question. Let's see if people can get to, uh, to the grand prize. Think about the day you could take your girl on with that. Not American. The accent gives it away. You would, but you're going to baseball practice. I know. I know the vibes. Why trivia? Where did this come from? I, I, I don't think you can see a trivia question and like look away. You're kind of like playing also. As the person watching, you're aligned with the contestant of the show. When you talk to people a couple months ago, one of the main things I said is that people like to learn. I love clicking on videos where they're answering a question I didn't know I wanted the answer to. What am I actually putting into my brain that's making me better versus like making me worse? So these little factoids and trivia questions maybe it's like a little something that feels educational. Can we talk a little bit about the difference between the trivia show that we put out on Monday and this YouTube show that you're watching right now? We wanted to see like, oh, are people more into that? Or is it like, do they want more of like a director's commentary? I also think this format gives us the option down the road to maybe like bring people in here that were in one of those other, that were like on the street that we met bring them in here and go deeper with them. The video last week was called Talking to Strangers in New York City or How to Talk to Strangers in New York City. And we learned that the sign was super helpful. And then the learning this week is asking people trivia questions or coming up with this game show format makes things even easier. For $20, what does Tribeca stand for? Uh-oh. The triangle. Hold on a second. I'm gonna sound like a moron. Triangular. I'm thinking maybe something to do with um, Triple. Triple, okay. There's, triangle a, there's a triangle between something. Below, east. <laughs> he turns, his, yeah, he yeah. turns his back. Triple bedroom car. Triple bedroom <laughs> car. <laughs> it's a triangle between a rock and a hard place. Triangle below Canal Street. Wow, 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 he's moving up the rank. Triangle below Canal Street. He knows it. Yep. $20. Okay. Triangle below canal. I was so close. You were so close. And just from a guess, map is like a triangle shaped area. Yeah. It starts at Canal Street. It makes a lot more sense than random words down. that I put together. Triangle below canal. Canal Street. Yeah, but isn't there a and in there? It's and then triangle. The it's, it's just C. the CA. It's canal. Didn't I say, we'll go to the tape. People are eager to be involved. Uh, and sometimes not. It's weird. You go through, sometimes you're walking around and you're like begging people to stop and talk to you. And then sometimes they just come up to you in droves. And then you have great moments that you never expected to happen. And that's the highlight of the experience. So we were talking to Joseph and then this woman is sort of standing nearby, Marjorie. And there's this incredible moment where she's weighing in and saying, trying to give him the answers. And then she's re getting ready to walk away and, we, and we're like, Marjorie, come over, like you should go next. Yeah. My name is Marjorie. I've lived in the West Village for 49 years. All right, Marjorie, you ready to test your luck? And then there's this other guy who pulls up on a bicycle and he's watching her do yeah. the trivia. And then she finishes and immediately like, he wants to go next. My name is Andres from the Bronx. With this format, it's so easy for us to go outside at any given moment to anywhere we want, whether it's somewhere in the city or a different borough or a different country with this concept. And I think we can quickly attract people to talk to us. These trivia questions open the door for more questions. Who these people are, what they think about things, what their opinions are. We know that that's the direction of the show, but it, we need to like figure out how to do it right. And that's, that's, where we're at, right? I love the moment we were filming, what's the tallest building in New York City and it's in the background? Empire State Building. Is that your final answer? No. Freedom Tower. Freedom Tower, <laughs> check yourself. There it is. Got it? You got it. You know, it's funny looking back on it, it looks like I knew what the woman was gonna say or like what her reaction was gonna be, but I had no idea. You just got lucky. I got lucky that I zoomed out at the right moment and the comedic timing is like perfect. How about the guy who flipped the script? Yeah. He started asking me questions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mark was a character. character. Okay, so uh, what's uh, Yonkers named after? 
You know, it's that uh, neighborhood up Yonkers. The yeah, that's where my mom's from. Yonkers is a Dutch term. Yes, and if so, if you guess this, I owe you 20 bucks. But if you get it wrong, you owe me 20 bucks. Yonkers, Yonkers. I love how he's flipping the rules on me. I know you it's a Dutch thing, and I would guess it has something to do with shipping of some sort. Um, but That's I don't a great know. Guess. It's named after Adrian Vanderdonk, who was a, a big landowner owner over there. And in Dutch, Yonker means like the dude who owns the land. Great YouTube channel, I'll look for you. Thank you so much. Take care. It was See nice you. meeting you. Don't you owe me 20 bucks? I'll get you next time. And that's what you were talking about before, Kieran. Those when you're out in the street filming for two hours, you always are going to get these little moments like this guy who's, after he has this full conversation with us, he reveals that he's just eating a carrot, like a <laughs> yeah, huge Yeah, I didn't notice carrot, that. Yeah. Bugs Bunny style. What a character. In addition to this YouTube show, in the past week we launched a Twitter account, an Instagram account, and a TikTok account. Can yeah. you guys talk a little bit about the difference between a YouTube show and something that exists on Instagram Reels or TikTok and how we're thinking about that? People are seeking out long form content where, you know, TikTok, short form stuff, the algorithm is going to feed them stuff. You want that to be as engaging and as interesting as possible. And that's what we're trying to do. We're posing every single day. It's Why true. do we do that? If we're pumping out content all the time, like we're going to be top of mind and people are going to remember us and want more. I saw in some of the comments on our previous YouTube video, came here from TikTok. We knew we were gonna get more eyeballs on those. Yeah. And it was always gonna be sort of a, a vehicle to help try and drive people over here. Did you find us from TikTok or social media? If you did, leave a comment and let us know. I'm curious about that. Who let us know down below. Also, we have Ready. way more views on YouTube shorts than on our YouTube longs. <laughs> we should just always start calling it YouTube longs. YouTube now. longs. YouTube longs. Never just say YouTube videos. Harley, we went viral. What do you have to say about that? To the fucking moon. To the moon. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've set these expectations of a certain amount of viewership yeah. on our short form content, do you feel a lot of pressure to create a certain type of thing or to create a certain amount of content. You know, I don't think there's much pressure because we're in such a learning phase. We're posting every day because we're trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. And we also know that like the real show that we're really trying to produce here is this, the YouTube longs. YouTube longs. YouTube long, hashtag YouTube longs. Not everything has to be like a crazy banger, but you need those, you know, once every couple weeks to like get the numbers up, bring people in. But then you also want to make something that goes deeper. You get the feeling like in New York, the moment you step off the boat, or the bus, or the plane, or the train, with the intention of staying, you're a New Yorker and nobody's gonna contradict you. Yeah, well said. So that, tell me that about another city. We have Mac behind the camera right now. Mac, come over here for a second. Hey, YouTube long fam, it's Mac. Thank you, Mac. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. <laughs> we have Mac in here, it's like nice to have someone behind the camera, because last week, something you guys didn't know, is that we forgot to hit roll on one of the cameras, and it was a little annoying. Fiona. It's good, Fiona. Fiona, our uh, employee number one, just arrived. Also uh, happens to be Jack and Kieran's cousin. Yo, test, test, one, two. Hey, <laughs> Fiona. Yo. Our intern in the office. She just got here. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I just walked from Penn Station. So I'm a little wow, sweaty. Wow, the walk. Yeah, interesting walk, interesting choice. Extra time. Took an earlier train, so I wasn't late. <laughs> wow, she's, she's committed. committed. Fiona, last week you went on a mission to get more hats. Yeah, I went on a mission to a screen printing place in Red Hook. And I'm not from New York, so it was a new experience, and it was interesting. Just city bike. bike. Bad news. Ferry. 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 How is that? To Red Hook. I'm the ferry. So. In 700... Phone's at five percent, but I'm on the way, and I had to show you that's just the commitment that I have. So, job is done. It was a little harder than I was maybe expecting, but overall, I'm a huge fan of the ferry. I got some great views of the city. Yeah, that's it for me. Peace out. Fiona O'Brien, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! What's next? We did some shooting on the Jersey Shore, which I don't know if you know anything about the Jersey Shore, but it's an amazing place. Then we had some guests. Interviewers, 
Hi, I'm Shelby Duffy and I'm from Montclair, New Jersey. And I'm a guest host on Public Opinion. And I'm gonna ask people if they've ever been in love and to tell me the first time. Get this on Fiona. Fiona, tell the people to like, subscribe, all that stuff. You gotta sell it gotta big, sell huge. It. Okay. Right there, in the lab. Okay. I'll say, from an inside perspective, I think these guys are doing something that no one else is doing on the internet. And I think that give it a little bit of time and you're gonna see everyone blow up. And so get in early, like, subscribe, follow on Instagram, follow on TikTok. You won't regret it. Mic drop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>